I just want you to address the Colorado haters, Matt. Those who, you know, you know, I mean, they're 15 point dogs every single week. We seem to sit here and say they're going to lose to North Dakota State. They're going to lose to Nebraska. They're going to lose to Colorado State. They're going to lose to Baylor. They're, I mean, it just is what it is. Matt, just address them real quick before we really get into this. Well, I don't really have anything to say to them. The play for, speaks for itself. So, yeah. Yeah. and and I'm not I'm not going to set myself up by acting like the season's over. Yeah, four and one. I Fair thought point. we would be in this position. Um, I, I knew the Nebraska game would be fucking hard. Obviously, I'm picking CU, but I knew it would be hard. Yep. Um, I'll take three to one. Like it, in the last four times we played Nebraska, we're up three to one. So I'll. I'll fall back on that, and it, you can fall back on your victory this year. Congratulations. But I don't really need to say anything to the haters anymore. Like, if you don't see what we see, you're never going to see it, and you're choosing not to see it. And, again, you you love the narrative because it it's an outlier now. It went from being the standard to now the outlier is keep hating on CU yeah. because everybody's jumping on the train. If they lose – if they go and play well, play shitty against K-State or even play good and then lose, everybody will jump back on and they won't win another game. It's like fucking Jeff Nudis fat ass talking on JB. And he's chiming in, they'll see you won't win another game. Like that's that's what I'm talking. Just there's no there's no like stats behind it. There's no nothing. There's just hate. It's just vitriol. So I I don't really have anything to say to any of them. We don't think the same. Amen. We ain't like we're all equal, but we're damn sure not the same. Her members told me that a long time ago. So I, I think that there's a huge like group of people out in the world that want to see Colorado fail because Coach Prime's the coach. I think there's it's very few people want to see Colorado fail because they're Colorado. We've been failing forever. Mm -hmm. Um and then that's fucked up because it's like this article we're about to put up. Again, it's not about football. It's not about coaching or development or community or or culture. It's not about any. It's about. So I guarantee you. I don't know who this guy is, but please figure out the what this who whoever the dude is that wrote the story. His name's on it. Google him for me, so I don't sound like an idiot. But I'd say ninety nine point nine percent. He's just some salty motherfucker or some granola motherfucker that doesn't like Coach Prime and doesn't like the way they're doing things. And for some reason, he needs to call them bank bank robbers. Yeah. Well, well let me let me go. Come on, dude. Shit. It, it's enough of this. Yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and read it, and then we can dive into the author after. But this is just a passage that's blown up on social media. I mean, I'm just – I'll read it, and we can react. No, I don't know who wrote the fucking thing. I'm, I'll, we'll get – yeah, we'll get into that. Thank and he, it says, and here's the thing that people who never watch football have been saying since March. But now it seems like an actual possibility. Is Colorado a contender? The Buffaloes are basically what it would look like if Deion Sanders planned a bank heist by hiring a getaway driver in a Ferrari, dressing a bagman in a tuxedo, and assuming the rest of the rest would work itself out. And somehow it's all working out. The Buffs demolished UCF 48-21 behind three touchdowns from Shador Sanders and another do-it-all performance from Travis Hunter. Colorado doesn't run the ball, doesn't play great defense, doesn't protect the quarterback. Bullshit. Bullshit and is willing to cut 20 players to make room for DJ Khaled's entourage on the sideline. And yet, here we are, a team that's 4-1. and one. Time, out. time out, time out. Cut 20 – they didn't cut 20 players. The <laughs> travel roster is way smaller. They left on Wednesday. They if you're not playing in the game, they don't dress no, the whole team the football, no. Shut the fuck up. DJ Khaled was there because he wanted to go be on the sideline with Colorado, not UCF. He could go to UCF anytime he wants. Yeah. Um, I'll go ahead and finish it. He says, and yet here we are, a team that's 4-1 and one with an emphatic win over the, over one of the teams we assume was a Big 12 contender. Doubt Coach Prime at your own risk because he has two magical players in his two toughest games the rest of the way at home. Also, he'll probably yell at you during a news conference if you say anything mean. Hey, I've never heard Coach Prime yell. I've heard him yell at the team a couple of times. I've never heard him yell in a press conference. I mean, I somebody please tell me what asshole wrote this. Please. Yeah. It's anonymous too, isn't it? I, I, because I can't find a name of whoever wrote it. Somebody tell me who wrote this shit. Oh, in the Look, chat. Who wrote this fucking article? Please. This is really this screams insecurity to me. You know what this streams? 
I was in I was in college and a black guy fucked my girlfriend in front of me and I didn't like it. So now I'm a I'm a piece of shit. Like, dude, I, I'm sorry that 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 a, a, the train ran through your dorm room. That sucks. <laughs> like, yeah. dude, but at some point you just gotta stop with this stupid. Okay, shit. I got it. ESPN so David Hale. Is he white, dude? I can tell you in one second. I hope, he, I hope uh, he's a white dude at this point. If not. That's not good. <laughs> um, I believe he's a white dude. Yep, white yeah, dude. College football writer. He was being from Charlotte, North Carolina. Does he have a comb over? He's his hair looks like Hunter Renfro. Oh, nice, nice. So he looks like frat boy. Okay, that's cool, and that's cool. That's cool. Do your thing. I'm glad that you got some clout off your stupid fucking article. But look, bro, I don't need to chill. They need to chill. I. I just I don't understand why they need to go the GTA route every time. We're hiring bank robbers and we got guns and we're gonna walk in and steal everything and <laughs> what are you fucking talking about, Doug? What are you talking about? Like the, you can't. You, first of all, there's no gangsters on college football teams. You can't be a gangster and go to class. Now you can act like one, mm -hmm. but yeah. they, they, if you got history class at one o'clock, it's gonna be pretty hard to go slang. Mm -hmm. You know, fucking. Mark your territory. That's not really what they're doing in Boulder. So I'm just I'm tired of this fucking bullshit. Like it, it at some point, you, there's got to be a little bit of respect, and there's got to be a little bit of like recourse. If you just say outlandish, stupid bullshit all the time, there's going to be receipts. Mm -hmm. Just like there's tons of receipts of me backing CU up over the last two and a half plus years. It, right when Coach Prime was hired, me saying, make sure you go for fucking greatness, not comfort. Mm -hmm. All that shit. You've been around for all of it, B. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those receipts are there. Those mm -hmm. same receipts are out here now for Danny Cannell, for mm -hmm. fucking for Whitlock, for, um, for Coach JB, for everybody that's got something negative to say. And look, I tip my cap to Coach JB today for actually saying that he was wrong. I don't know about the rest of the show. All I heard was I was wrong. Yeah, so yeah, that's good. That's good. I'm off the show. I don't care what the fuck he says. So <laughs> I, I just I, I look at this entire situation, Bailey, and I'm I'm almost to the point where at some point I'm just going to stop paying attention to it. And I think that point is now. I understand. Like, we'll, we'll talk about it and shit, but I'm not going to give any more of my effort to this bullshit anymore. Mm -hmm. And you know, I'm just going to fuck. I'm just going to, I'm going to tell you why. Um, so after the game, uh, I, I, hats off coach. What a win group of special down proud of you all. Great day. Thank you, my man. Do not argue with a fool because nobody will know uh, who's who if you're arguing with the fool, right? So if I'm arguing with the fool, then I may look like the fool. Keep your poison professionalism and character. Uh, see you needs you. Them talking about us with no opposition kills them slowly. So if we just don't give it any fuel, they mm -hmm. die slow. Yeah. God bless you, praying for you. This is the best one. I know you're a dog and dogs bite. Amen. Amen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So like I'm just I've gotten to the point here where now I'm getting coached by coach. And that's this is my point. I've, I've said this to you guys so many times. It's coach Prime's power is how he makes you feel. Mm -hmm. And he's coach prime. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it's special, and he does that with his kids. Different. He does it with his players. He does it with me. He do, he does it with his kids. He does it with his family. He does it with everybody. Dog. He does it with Romy Bean. He does it with everyone. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's it's at some point. I think people are. This is what I really think is going on, and this is gonna blow your mind. That's here. I think everybody's just jealous. I don't really think people hate. On, on all of it. I don't really think people don't think Coach Prime can coach or Shador can't play or Travis can't play both ways. Mm -hmm. I think they're jealous that they didn't see it or they picked the wrong side. And now they just have to ride or die. Now, well, I can't switch sides because I'll look like a Judas. So mm -hmm. now I'm just going to double down on my vindictive, jealous bullshit. Yeah. So, you know, Sean Carter used to say it, jealousy is a female trait. Yes, yes. All right, but if you're jealous, that means must, that must mean that you want something the other man has. And uh, unfortunately, you can't get it because they don't package it. 
You can't you can't get the prime swag and what's going on in Boulder because you're not a part of it. Yeah. You're just not, and that's okay. We we're not trying to be like Utah. We're not trying to be like Oklahoma State. We're not trying to be like Kansas State. And no offense to them, they're an unbelievably great program. We're not trying to be like UCF. Mm-hmm. We're just trying to be us. And we're and the identity has been taking a fucking beating for 20 years, with the exception of 2016. Mm-hmm. And it's okay that like right right we were doing the broadcast and right when they put all eyes on me and through the stadium, what did I say to you? I was like, they shouldn't be playing that song. That's called that's called our song. That's, that's, song, that's, yeah. called our song. that's yeah. called that's CD song. That's our song. Mm-hmm. So like this is what I'm talking about. It's it's the you know, Coach Prime and what he brings to the table is mixed with CU and what they bring to the table. Mm-hmm. And it's fucking going halfway through year two. It is goddamn gold. It's gold, and yeah. it is going this way. And yeah. anybody, that, anybody, look, I will say this again. I would love for everybody to just jump on the train with us. It's okay. The first part of admitting you have a problem or saying you have a problem is admitting you have one. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. If you're a drunk fuck and you're like, I'm not a drunk fuck, and everybody knows you are, you should probably just say you're a drunk fuck, and then we can help you. Yeah, yeah exactly. You know what I'm saying? Just jump on the train, guys. We we got plenty of space. Yeah, exactly, exactly. You have a choice now as a fan. You can either get with it, or you can get gone, and you can stop acting like the hate that you spew is being reciprocated. We we the Buffalo community are just we're fed up with it. Like I've I've heard it enough. I got it. I know where you stand. Do you have any other opinions? Do you have anything to break down? Do you have any real football facts to throw at me? Or is it just, I don't like prime and they're bank robbers and there's guns and it's GTA and they pay everyone just like everyone does. And they went in the transfer portal and, oh, it's working. And I fuck the transfer portal. And it's like, bro, does what is it going to, again, the same thing I say to JB all the time. What is it going to take yeah. to, to know, to at least get something nice out of you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, know what? you know what? Let me take this back. Fuck y'all. <laughs> yeah. Fuck your nice shit. I don't want that. I take it completely back. Everything I just said, trying to be nice and politically correct. Fuck all that. Stand on your side of the fence and keep talking shit, and we'll put our foot in your ass as the season goes on. And when see you sitting there at like nine and three, ten and two, and we're playing for the Big Twelve, then I'll start talking shit. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't, ain't much else to be that's, said. That's all, 